What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andre and today I'm going to be doing an update on LCID ticker. And on today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the fundamental news of this company and with their Q2 earnings report. And at the end of this video, I will show you my forecast for the price of this stock. And before we get into all of that, if you guys would like to take a part in the limited time offer from Webull and earn two free stocks valued up to $2300, just open new account, deposit only $5 and choose your free stocks, link in my description. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here at this very point and uh, I've told you that I am still stand on my position that we have to redress on deeper levels and we have to hit at least uh, 0 0.65, 0 0.618. It is a Fibonacci retracement level from this bottom to this top and as you can see we have completed all five waves and we have to have a retracement and basically we hit our first target to the tick as you can see right here and uh, this means uh, from this point we might have a trend reversal on Monday. We might have at least a bounce to the upside to unload all the indicators and uh, potentially next uh, leg uh, we might have to the downside as well. And why I am so bearish on this uh, ticker? Basically it is very simple. First of all, we have to complete uh, the entire retracement structure from this bottom to this top and uh, for now we have only A wave that's already formed, B wave already formed and we have to form our C wave. And uh, C wave usually has the uh, extension one to one compared to a wave this means we might have uh, some lower levels and i encourage you not to buy this stock and basically wait until the lower levels from uh, the po price point of around 25.5 26 dollars and uh, it's uh, totally okay to be patient and we you have to be patient in order to achieve more attractive average price so and let's continue with the fundamentals of this company first of all let's start with the company profile Lucid Group, a technology and automotive company, develops electric vehicle technologies. The company designs, engineers and builds electric vehicles, EV powertrains and battery systems. And uh, for now, its total market cap is uh, $36.5 billion. And uh, we cannot rely on uh, other data because uh, uh, this, let me show it to you right here, uh, we have uh, this uh, earnings report. And uh, it is a Q2 earnings report and the latest date is June 30th. All of the statements, all the numbers uh, in this report as of uh, June 30th, 2021. And let me show you right here that they complete merger with the Churchill Capital Corp 4 at the end of July. This means this data is only related to Churchill Capital. And this means uh, it doesn't relate uh, to any financials of Lucid Motors as well. And as you can see on uh, their press release section, we don't have any mentions about uh, this earnings report because it is uh, not related to this company. So let's continue with uh, some news. And uh, three days ago, we have this article on Investor Place and it's titled Lucid is severely undervalued right now, but by how much? And uh, right here you can find the information that uh, the target price uh, for this company is 33.57. It was adjusted from uh, 46.22 previously. It is about 91% uh, over the August 16th price. And uh, here you can see the justification why this number is legit. And you can see right here a lot of calculations, uh, but all of these calculations made with the assumption of their deliveries and with the assumption of their potential profits. And this means we cannot rely on this forecast because uh, we don't have data, real data of their deliveries and of their sales. Uh, for now, it is a completely zero. And that's why we have uh, this uh, decline in uh, price of, uh, the, of their stock. And that's why we cannot rely on this article and on this price target. So let me show you some numbers that we have uh, for sure. First of all, they have about 4.4 billion in cash uh, on its balance sheet. And by the way, we are on a Barons.com uh, website. And this is the information about uh, their merger. And as you can see, the second quarter balance sheet shows about $2 billion in cash. Lucid also received about $2.4 billion net of fees. 
in a pipe uh, short for private investment in public equity when the merger closed. Lucid has roughly 4.4 billion in cash on its balance sheet, making uh, it one of the best capitalized EV startup. But we will see this number only in their Q3 report, and I have to say that, uh, in my opinion, we have to see some, at least uh, some kind of uh, announcement of uh, exact date of uh, their deliveries. Because they have to deliver their first cars on the second half of 2021. And uh, if they won't uh, deliver these cars on Q3, this means uh, it will drastically impact the price uh, of their stocks in a negative manner. And uh, in my opinion, they have to at least announce uh, their deliveries. And uh, that's why, in my opinion, we have to wait until this announcement uh, in a matter of uh, several weeks. So, and uh, let me show you their short interest. For now, we have we are on finviz.com and uh, the short float is uh, more than 20%. This company is still experiencing huge bearish pressure and it has uh, decent chances uh, to have a short squeeze. But uh, you cannot rely on this short squeeze before we will see some major announcements uh, from C executives. And let me show you institutional owners of this company. And uh, right here, as you can see, red rows indicate closed positions and green rows indicate new positions. And we have more red rows than the green ones. But you have to keep in mind that uh, the effective date is the June 30th, 2021. And that's why you cannot 100% rely on this data. The only number that is important for now is the average share price. And uh, as you can see, majority of uh, these uh, prices are above uh, $25, 26, 26.02. 26, uh, 28.85, uh, 26.01, 26. And this means this company bought the shares of uh, Lucid Motors highly above current price. And for now we have $21.67 price point. And this means it is a very good uh, potential entry point, but you have to be cautious and I will show you in a minute why. So, and let me show you one interesting filing. Right here we, we have uh, Citadel Advisors and uh, they added their position by 45% and their current long position is $95.9 million. And uh, their average price is $26, exactly $26. This means even Citadel bought uh, these uh, shares highly above current level. So, and let's continue with the technical analysis, but before we dive deeper right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. As you can see, we hit, uh, as I already mentioned, 0 0.65, 0 0.618 level. It is a Fibonacci retracement from the very bottom to the very top. And it is the most probable level of trend reversal. But we still have a possibility to hit the 0 0.786 level if we won't see any major announcements uh, from the C executives of uh, Lucid Motors in nearest future. We will definitely have one more leg to the downside. And this means we might see the price points uh, below $20. It is just my assumption, but uh, I'm pretty sure about this. So what should you do if you want to invest in this company? First of all, do your own due diligence. And in my opinion, if this company will deliver their cars by the end of uh, 2021, and if the number of these deliveries will be as expected, nearly 600 vehicles, and if the testimonials uh, will be very good uh, from their first customers, this will drastically improve uh, their fundamentals and this will affect the price uh, of uh, their stock uh, in a positive manner. But we have to wait until uh, this news uh, happens. And uh, that's why you can add just a fraction of your money right here at this very point, because we have uh, rather decent chances uh, to move lower, even to the uh, around $19.5 price action. And our major bottom point is right here at the around $17 mark because it is a swing low from the very top to the very bottom and it is our lowest point so far. And if this level holds, we basically pretty much bullish because from this point we have higher highs and higher lows. And uh, if uh, this uh, pivot point holds, this means uh, we have uh, more chances to go higher and to break all the resistances that are above our current, current price. And if we will break this level, this means we will be in the retracement mode much longer than expected. And in my opinion, this might happen only in case uh, if uh, Lucid Motors will fail their, their deliveries and uh, if we'll see some uh, black swan for the entire EV market. 
So, I think from the technical standpoint, that's it for now. Just be extremely cautious. And for now, we might have at least a good bounce uh, for several percent uh, to the upside. Then we might have one more leg to the downside. And uh, if you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. In this case, you won't miss my next video. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye.